I've learned that the current political calendar and election laws favor those who get an early start and can tap into huge private fortunes or who have a pre-existing network of political supporters. <laughs> Steve Forbes has unlimited resources. Governor Bush has raised over $60 million and has about $40 million on hand. Both are starting to run TV ads next week. I told Bob that this time the odds are overwhelming. It would be futile to continue, and he reluctantly agreed. I've been all but overwhelmed by women of all ages who've invested me with their hopes. Uh, this is my day to uh, share with you what my million dollars already, and TV ads are going to I think what we've done is paved the way for the person who will be the first woman president. And uh, I'm just delighted uh, at what has happened because I feel like we've really made a great contribution. Thank you very much. I appreciate, I appreciate all of you. Other women will follow her, and someday, someone, by, because of her example, a woman will be president of the United States. I regret her having to leave because of money. This battle should be about ideas and not about bucks. So I regret that she's gone. The campaign will be less interesting and less informative to the American people. She has a kind of experience that's different from that of any other person running. Her work in the cabinet and, and uh, in the Red Cross. And I think it's a loss to the Republican Party and a loss to the country that, that she couldn't go forward.